What's going on all my pre-healthcare professionals? I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with the ATIT's question review series and we're gonna be discussing the cell. Question one. A cell reproduces itself through binary fission rather than mitosis or meiosis. What kind of cell is it? A, a prokaryote, B, eukaryote, C, a gamete, or D, a haploid? And the correct answer is A, prokaryote. Prokaryote cells lack a nucleus. Both mitosis and meiosis begins in the DNA replication in the nucleus. Binary fission is the manner in which prokaryote cells divide into two distinct but identical cells. Which organelle works in concert with the endoplasmic reticulum to produce other organelles? Is it A, the centriole, B, lysosomes, C, Golgi complex, or D, cytoplasm? And the correct answer is C, Golgi complex. The Golgi complex, or apparatus, uses the proteins created by the endoplasmic reticulum to build new organelles and other cellular structures. What is the function of lysosomes? Is it A, protein transport, B, cellular waste breakdown, C, cellular respiration, or D, chromosome replication? And the correct answer is B, cellular waste breakdown. Lysosomes capture and break down the unneeded byproducts of metabolic activity or cellular waste. In what stage of meiosis do spindle fibers disappear? Is it A, interphase, B, prophase, C, metaphase, or D, telophase? And the correct answer is D, telophase. The last stage of meiosis I and meiosis II is telophase. The spindle apparatus has done its job of separating and orienting the chromosomes. It now dissolves to allow the cells to enter interphase and is normal metabolic function. At the end of meiosis I, in which state is the original cell? Is it A, two haploid cells, B, four haploid cells, C, two diploid cells, or D, four diploid cells? And the correct answer is C, two diploid cells. At the end of meiosis I, the chromosomes have crossed over and then migrated to the poles. Nuclear membranes have formed around the DNA creating two diploid cells, cells with 64 chromosomes. Which of the following is not contained within the cell membrane of a eukaryote cell? Is it A, nucleus, B, cytoplasm, C, ribosomes, or D, the flagellum? The correct answer is D, flagellum. The flagellum exists outside the cell membrane of single-celled organisms. These are predominantly prokaryotes. What is the function of the nucleolus? Is it A, ribosome production, B, protein storage, C, cellular respiration, or D, reproduction? And the correct answer is A, ribosome production. The nucleus contains the DNA of the cell. Within the nucleus, the nucleose produces ribosomes which help in protein production. Cells that are not reproducing are in which of the following states? Is it A, prophase, B, metaphase, C, anaphase, or D, interphase? And the correct answer is D, interphase. Interphase is the name of the state the cells occupy when they are performing normal metabolic functions. DNA may be replicating in preparation for cell reproduction, but the cell is not undergoing either mitosis or meiosis. The stages of mitosis are interphase, blank, metaphase, blank, and telophase. These are followed by a new interphase. Which of the following correctly completes the sentence above? Is it A, prophase, anaphase, B, interphase, prophase, C, anaphase, cytokinesis, or is it D, cytokinesis, glycolysis? 
And the correct answer is A, prophase anaphase. The four stages of mitosis in order are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Cytokinesis happens after the mycotic cycle while glycolysis takes place during cellular respiration. Moving on to our final question. In which phase of meiosis does genetic variation take place? Is it A, prophase 1, B, anaphase 1, C, metaphase 2, or D, telophase 2? And the correct answer is A, prophase 1. In meiosis, genetic variation happens in the first phase, prophase 1. The two sets of chromosomes recombine through crossing over. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.